What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, got a pretty good one for you guys today. I've got some people have asked me before, hey, why, you know, why enhance the pictures? Why not just get better quality pictures? Okay, that's not always possible. Um, and the only reason why I brought this up, because I just had, uh, I put a few videos on the Mars uh, Anomalies research page, which is on um on Facebook, and I've, you know, and a guy had commented on there saying, you know, why not just go for the higher uh, quality resolution? Now, it's not just about him, obviously. I mean, every now and then I get that question. I'm going to answer this question with this video because, believe it or not, you can't always get. He said, well, why not just use the uh, the right, uh, I don't know if it was the nav or the has uh, cam, uh, which is even zoomed in. Well, first off, I don't want a zoomed in picture. I wanted the one that I used. So I'm going to show you guys why it's good to actually enhance these pictures. It's all about detail, period. Now, this is the picture you'll get. Now, this is from, believe it or not, this is from, and you can see it at the top there, from Opportunity Rover PanCam. And you can see this is only like uh, nine days ago. I mean, you know, it's 5-19-2014. Uh, uh, so, and this was at, uh, I think it was uh, to 9-26. Um, so, you know, so this is not 100 years old. And it just goes to show you that there's cool stuff in here. Okay. I always look for things that are just like, just stand out that don't look like rocks, like this right here. Now stick with me on this, because this is gonna kind of blow your mind. Um, there's something right here that stood out for me. Now, I'm gonna tell you, because I've already enhanced this page, there is what looks like piping right here, one right here, and it has a round, what looks like a round top of a tank. Now, it doesn't look like that, right? That's exactly what NASA, JPL are hoping that you, you'll be none the wiser, you just look at the picture and go, oh, that's nice, and just keep moving along. That's the whole idea. Now, I want to show you there's also what looks like a little ladder or some kind of weird, yeah, that's the best way to just say it. The ladder right here, some kind of weird-looking domed vehicle or structure, piece of machinery. Call it what you will. Call it Humpty Dumpty for all I care. The point is it's being hidden. And like I said, I just wanted to show you why it's good to enhance. So it doesn't really matter what these anomalies are, but there's something round right here. Okay, but you're also going to find out there's things that are shadowed or ghosted in these. And I'm going to show you that too. Right here, you can see there's something right here, comes up, goes around. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's actual lines in the picture. Now, you can't make this, I'm going to call it a lump of garbage because you can't tell what it is. But I'm going to show you why. Now, if I was to show you these right here, let's just do this. You can tell this is a uh, low res picture right off the bat. And you can see this is from the Exploratorium. Exploratorium at uh, .edu, and of course, Mars and the PanCam. Now watch this. I'm going to zoom in because I want to show you the details in this. Oh, can't do that. Wonder why? Because it's degrading. You get picture degradation the second you zoom into a very low-res picture to begin with. So, if you had a high-def, cool. But chances are, if it's a high-definition picture, or at least high-res, Believe me when I tell you, they're going to really doctrine up the pictures so you can't make, it out what's, make out what's in these things. So so if I was to show you this, what is the best way to show you this picture? Well, the best way to do it is enhance it so I can not only get it back to what it looked like before I zoomed in, if not better quality. Okay. Now I'm going to jump back out. Now I'm going to show you, and this is in my Photoshop, same picture. Okay. I'm going to jump back and forth. The only difference is this one's more up front or zoomed in. Well, it's not actually zoomed in. It's just the way the page is. Okay, there's the, okay. So now you can see at the bottom here, we're at 100%. Now I'm going to go to 300, 400%, because I want to show you this area right here in question. That's at 400%. Now let's take a look at that, because I want to show you some, some uh, features on this. Whoop, can't do that, can we? It's a low resolution, a lot less pixels than a, than a really good uh, picture, um, or high res picture. Okay, so what do we do? Well, I can back back out, but I can't show you the actual detail. And you can just see that thing looks grainy as heck to begin with. And it has nothing to do with Photoshop. It has everything to do with the way the pictures, the way they're showing the picture. Okay. So this is my answer. Now, basically, I just blurred, uh, contrasted and brightened, uh, got rid of shadowing. So, and pretty much that's it. Now, watch this. Watch this area and just watch the whole picture down the bottom here. Watch what happens. This is how you make stuff pop. This is what you want to see. When you see a picture like this, NASA's hoping you don't dig. The last thing they want to do is have you dig into these pictures. They don't want you to see this. By doing this, you enhance what's actually in the picture. And you can see these things now a little bit better. Okay? The stuff here. 
and you can see whatever the heck that is right there that's shadowed out, but it's actually in the picture. Okay. Now, if you noticed, watch this. This is where I said there's like this little ladder. These look like these weird pipes or some kind of mechanical parts coming out. And that looks like maybe at the top of a tank. I don't know. And like I said, I really don't care. We can call them M&Ms for all I give a crap. The point is I'm trying to convey is that you can't always see what's in these pictures. Now watch this. Now we're going to jump in. Now you can see parts and everything a lot better. Now what I meant was, look at this right here. It looks like a piping dropping down into this round cylindrical piece. See right there? Like you see a rounded top. Okay, there's also another one connected to this one or something. There's another one faintly right there. Now let's enhance it a little bit, dock it up a little bit. Okay, so now you can see there's just a hair bit better. Right there that's rounded. Okay, right here is this weird, I don't know what this is, but it goes quite a bit. I mean, it's, it goes right from here. At least it looks like it goes all the way back, comes up, comes over to here. But check this, look at the detail in this. I want to show you this because it's pretty odd has this nice shop corner, almost like a like a side window, like if it was a, a high-speed train. Picture the windows in a high-speed train. has the front windshield, and it has a side window. Perfect angle. Look at that. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, guys. I'm just trying to give you an idea in your head what it would look like as far as the front windows and stuff. That's what I'm saying as far as shape-wise. I'm not saying that's what it is. Okay. Now, you can see something else that's here. Like I said, the way this wraps around, it has this, like, round. If you were to keep going with this, this would actually go around. Okay, so this looks like it's it's kind of metallic. See the way that looks? Now, let's see what it would look like zoomed in on the normal picture. Absolute crap. This is the reason why I enhance my pictures. For good reason. And there you go. Now, I'm going to go over to this area because I want to show you this, this ladder. Okay, can you see it? Nope. This is what happens when you zoom in. But you can see it now. You can see the detail. Now you go, well, I'm really not seeing it. Okay. Let's docking it up a little bit. Right there, there's a base to it. And this actually comes up, goes over to over here, and then back, and then down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four little sections. And here's what looks like this weird little craft. Right here, it has this little domed piece, but it looks like it has these weird openings or windows. And there's something, I don't know if this is part of this, but check this out. It goes over. has this nice curvature to it. Look at this, something protruding out right there. Come on, man. This is not this is not stuff that's just, you know, just rocks laying around. Now, just to show you that this is some kind of weird, I don't even know what the heck you'd even call it. I'm calling it a ladder or stairs or some sort, but I don't know what it is. Let's check it out. I'm going to invert this just to show you guys this particular piece. Right there, see it? Now, I can actually brighten this up a bit. I'm going to throw some color in it. See that right there? And it goes up and over and then down and so on and so forth. So it is in the picture. There's no doubt it's in the picture. See that? See, now when you look at this right now, this looks like a negative. This doesn't look like the actual real deal. Why is that? Well, it's easy to flip a picture when it's black and white. We can easily flip it around, throw some different docs, you know, throw some contrast and everything, and people would be none the wiser. Um, just look at the shadowing right here. Look at this way this thing comes down. Look at this. Just the lines that are in these pictures, and there's something laying right here. Okay, now I do doctrine up this piece here. Let me see if I can find it. Right here. Now, although this is a big piece of garbage, let me see if I can't show you what this is. Okay, you can see that right there. There's a line of whatever that is goes up. They've definitely blocked something out sitting right here. Now, what I did was invert it to try to bring something out of it. And it just looks like a big lump of garbage, and rightfully so. They're doing everything they can to try to block out or hide whatever's sitting right here. And you could just see that. Come on, that doesn't even look like normal landscape, for crying out loud. There's something large right here, and it goes into this, because when you... I don't know if I can do that, but let me see. I don't know if I took that step there, but it doesn't really matter at this point. But there's something right here. You can actually see it comes out of it. Like, this is sticking out of whatever this is, Okay. Um, this is also pretty interesting. They whited the crap out of this right here. So you don't really see much of anything. Let me see if I can bring that out. Well, I'm going to go to the next steps here. Okay. Right here. See, like, there's, like, squares and stuff right there. See that? Even though it's blurry, check that out. 
There's something hidden inside here, and you can see where they just put a bunch of white right over this. Now, I don't care what that really is, to be honest. There could be nothing for all I care. The point is to try to show detail. Now, I use a uh, like a greenish-blue filter, and you can see this now. But if I was, again, if I was to just let the picture be, you would not see any kind of detail in this picture. So, like I said, there you go. This is the reason why I actually enhance the pictures. So you can see better detail. Okay. This looks like a top of a, tu uh, a tunnel. And you can see the bottom of it right there. Again, wouldn't see it. Right there. It looks like a top brick top of a tunnel. And there's something sitting right in front of it. I couldn't tell you what it is. Have no clue. But there's something round right here. And it looks like there's little openings with straight pieces coming out of it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's... See that right there? The dark area and there's something coming straight out of it. Some, another one coming straight out. There's something on top of that. This stuff has definitely been hot, hidden from us. And we'll never know what's in this picture. But like I said, this looks like some kind of weird little craft, vehicle, something or other. Or some kind of little building. And it just so happens this is right up against it. Kind of odd, don't you think? And like I said, all we got to do is jump into it. And we can see that is definitely in the picture. There's the base to it. And it comes up like right here, goes over, and then up. Check that out. See that? Okay. So, guys, that's the reason why, and like I said, I really don't care what's in the picture. It's the idea is to show you that if you don't, you know, enhance these pictures, you will never see a thing in it. Um, you know, whether what these things are, like I said, I couldn't tell you. But look at this. Perfect corners. Nice square type thing. Right there. And you can see this thing ends right here. Like I said, it almost looks like if you were to look at the front of a high-speed train, look at it would be the mirror, window. And, of course, there's no telling how big this thing is because even if I zoom out, there you go. So there's no way of knowing. This thing could have been looking over a hillside and all of this is down at the bottom. Um, but you can see right there, like that looks like, and I'm calling it a corner window. I'm not saying that's what it is. Um, right there, these weird features right here. God only knows what this stuff is, but it's there. But like I said, you'd be none the wiser. Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to show you. Just wanted to let you know the reason why I do and what a lot of us on the on our Mars team does. This is the reason why we do what we do. Because you know what? They'll do anything they can to hide what's really in these pictures. And yeah, you know, it's... This is the only way that they elude you, man. They just want to make sure, hey, these people won't dig into these pictures. They'll be none the wiser. They won't have a clue. Well, they're right. They're absolutely right. You won't be none the wiser. And like I said, there's that, just to go back over it, there's that little ladder. Oh, that's right. You can't see it. Oh, there it is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to just go ahead and brighten that up a little bit and throw some color in that don't look like a typical rock to me but whatever like I said it's not about what these things are to be honest with you I really don't care what they are but the point is this is the reason like I said this is the reason why we enhance but anyway guys thanks for watching do appreciate it I just wanted to you know just let these guys know there's a reason for doing that um, like I said I'm at 300% um, this is the reason why we do the things we do or at least why I do um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Greatly appreciated. Um, and like I said, uh, don't forget guys, there is the t-shirt giveaway tonight. It'll be around nine o'clock between nine and nine 30. I think last week we had a problem with the, uh, we had some nasty storms actually. And, uh, it actually, uh, uh, was messing around with the internet. So I didn't, I don't think it got on there until like, uh, nine 40 or 10 40, 10 30, somewhere around there, roughly around there. But I was like, you gotta be kidding. Perfect timing, right? And we're supposed to have more storms tonight. So hopefully that doesn't really interfere with anything and we'll get it rocking out there. And like I said, uh, we'll see what happens there. We'll see who's the next winner. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Definitely greatly appreciated. Um, you know, hit the thumbs up button. Always greatly appreciated. Comment. Tell me what you guys think down below, what you actually think these anomalies are. And uh, like I said, they're, they're always welcome. Anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching and I will see you next pick.